Hey guys, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you from our shipping warehouse today to do a fun tutorial with you guys on how to do tack it. Um, I've got a couple things we're gonna try to do. I know that sounds kind of crazy because I've never done it before. So I wanna give it a try. If it works, great. If it doesn't, whatever. I can just strip it and start over or cover it up with something else. Um, so tack it method is done using tack it glue. You can also use Mod Podge, but you have to water it down and there's some other things to it, but it's just easier in my opinion, just to go ahead and buy straight up tack it and use it for this process. Um, Tacket is going to give you a almost chrome look on a tumbler, especially if you're using holographic glitter. Uh, so that's what we're going to work with today. I'm being crazy and I'm not the best at doing an ombre with ultra fines in a normal like standpoint, but that's okay because I've learned how to do it. But I thought, hey, what the heck, let's give it a try and let's see if we can do a sunset beach tumbler using Tacket. So again, this way work, it may not work. Hey, if all else fails, I can delete the video, right? So I'm going to be using several colors to do this. I've got my hog tumbler right here, ready to go. And I'm going to be using, again, like I said, this is a lot of colors. This is gonna be entertaining if it works, amazing if it doesn't, whatever. Um, so I've got toes in the sand for the base, which is gonna be the sand. And this will be a fun one because it's got a lot of different colors in it. Blue suede shoes for the blue. Vixen for the purple. Berry good for the magenta color. And then I'm gonna use cinnamon for the darker orange. Um, I'm not gonna use any white because I'm actually gonna just do that with using alcohol inks in the final layer of epoxy. But hey, what the heck, right? Give it a try. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't, Oh well, I'll just delete the video. Um, I've done a lot of stuff using Tacket. I've made a lot of tumblers with Tacket, whether it be watermelon tumblers, like this was one of them I was actually working on. So this is a watermelon um, that was using hot flash and matcha. Um, I've done some, I actually did one just the other day for a perfect pairing video where it was, um, I just blanked, Medusa, and it was paired with um, smolder and I did an ombre of those and it looked amazing uh, if you guys remember I did the um, the marble video with Keely and using the marbu paints and we actually marble dipped a cow skull and I said I was gonna do the horns and I did with Tackett so I'm gonna grab this and show this to you guys so I did this is the whole skull right here that we dipped using the marbu marble paints, but I did tack it on the horns and I love how it ended up turning out. I used pewter on this to give it this really nice, you know, antique kind of look, but um, it turned out really great. So this actually is going to be hanging in my new studio soon and I can't wait to have it hung up. Otherwise it just sits in here in the warehouse. But tack it's a lot of fun because it's actually a very quick process and you can get your two layers done very very quickly so i have my cup i've got everything i need laid out um you're gonna need a paint brush of some kind whether it be a phone like a sponge i always use a synthetic brush um these are the ones i always use i got the whole set at hobby lobby but um this is just a one inch let's see one inch crafter's choice i have hundreds of these little brushes of all different sizes um but this is what i'm going to be using to do the tacket and apply it onto the cup so let's get the camera set up so you guys can see from above and fingers crossed this works if it does this is gonna look amazing if not oh well so we will flip the camera around and get you guys ready to see how this is done okay so i've got my tumbler here i'm gonna lay these down so y'all can see the glitter that I'm using in that order. So basically you're gonna take your tacket and just lob it on there. And I did not base coat this. You can base coat your tumbler. I just did not do it 
mostly because it's got so many different colors in it. I thought this would just be easier to just go with silver on the back. I actually don't base coat a lot of my cups unless I'm using white glitter or a rainbow glitter, which these are holographic, so this will be just fine. Just wanna make sure it's brushed on there nice and evenly. And of course, do not forget to do the bottom. All right, now that that is nice and coated, We are going to let that actually dry. And by dry, it's we're gonna wait about 10 minutes, basically until it turns clear. And you will actually be able to like touch the cup and it'll be tacky. So we're gonna let this dry for a few minutes and then we're gonna come right back and start with toes in the sand and work our way down the line of glitter. All right, so we're gonna get started. As y'all can see, the cup is nice and clear. There's no wet spots and it's definitely tacky. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. As y'all can see, well, I'm going to flip these around. This will be easier for me to just see here. So basically we're going to go with as big of as wide as the jars are lines of glitter. And that way I get a nice even amount of what I'm trying to do with this tack it cup again never done this before with this type uh this many colors so this will be entertaining to say the very least so we're going to start with toes in the sand basically i'm going to go to about here and if i can get the lid open there we go all right so we will be doing two layers of of the glitter and the tacket. So I'm not gonna really worry too much about how I ombre out the colors. And then also don't forget to do the bottom. And definitely make sure you get that edge for sure, get that covered. All right, so that is toes in the sand. All right, so I'm working with one hand here, so I'm actually just gonna take this and set it off to the side. All right, so now I'm gonna use blue suede shoes. So there is my blue suede shoes for my water. Oh, that lid came right off. My toes in the sand lid stuck. All right, so that was blue suede shoes. I'm going to do Vixen. That's such a gorgeous purple.
So there is Vixen. Fixin'. And I'm going to switch to Very Good. Very good. And into cinnamon. If I can get the lid back on. There we go. All right, so now cinnamon. Well, I already took the lid off, whatever. <laughs> There's that, and I know it kind of looks a little funky right now, but this is the fun part. All right, so now that we have the glitter applied to the cup, what we're gonna basically do is take your hand, and there are other methods to do this, but I actually like to use my hand because then I can actually feel that all the glitter has laid flat. just start to rub down the tumbler. That's right, you're gonna give it a little rub down. And when I do this as an ombre, I always start with the lines first, like where the glitter meets, so it'll kind of blend a little faster without causing too many problems where colors over mix and stuff, so. Gonna work my way around the tumbler. And you'll start to see all the glitter laying flat, so it gives it kind of more of a smooth chrome like finish. and the sand now is nice and laid flat. Go up here to where Vixen and Blue Suede Shoes meets. Give it a rub too.
here. If you have some spots where it looks like it's kind of not wanting to lay down, just push a little harder on it and it'll lay down. Just takes a little elbow grease. All right, so I'm just gonna keep rubbing this down so you guys can uh, get to the next step with the magic and power of video editing. Um, so I'm gonna finish rubbing this so that all the glitter is laid flat and I will come right back once it is finished to show you guys the next step. All right, so we have it now. It's got that nice chrome look to it. Um, it took a little bit extra rubbing than I am used to, but that's okay. Um, so now the nice thing is, look, when you do tack it, it's, it's dry. I mean, you don't have to really worry about like you can set your cup down, whatever. So the next step is to do a second layer of tack it. So that went everywhere. I know y'all love when I do stupid things like that. <laughs> all right. So now we get to cover up all that beautiful hard work to do it all over again. Got that stuff on my hand now. Cool. So same thing, brush all the way around, nice even layer. And this is turning out really, really nice. So I'm really excited I decided to do this. Little challenge, if you will. I need to clearly get more tacket because I'm almost out. Add that to my Amazon cart tonight. I feel like I'm putting like mayo on a hot dog or something. Or I guess in this case it's a corn dog because the cup's just on a stick. All right, so now this nice coated don't forget to do the bottom And the edges, make sure those are nice and coated as well. All right, so now we have completely covered up all of our hard work. I'm dropping everything today. Um, so we're gonna wait for this to dry again so that it is completely clear and then add a second layer. All right, so <laughs> we have our tumbler. It is ready to go. That paper is sticky. Um, it is ready to go now with the second round of glitter. And I'm really excited about doing this. So it's nice and sticky, tacky. So we're gonna go ahead and add glitter the same way we did before. Starting at the bottom, work your way up, because you started from the bottom and now we're here, right? <laughs> Sorry. Cheesy, cheesy puns. So, gonna work our way around and tuck to the top. Probably not the only person that starts kind of making it random 
like singing songs in their head when they're doing cups? Probably not. All right, so when I do this now, because I'm going to really be trying to ombre this, I'm just gonna very lightly sprinkle as I go around before I do the blue. Get as much of that off there as I can. All right. I'm gonna slide that over here to save some time. Now we're gonna do the blue, which is again, blue suede shoes. So I'm just gonna go from the middle of the blue section and work my way out. And then just like I did with the gold, with which toes in the sand, is gently and lightly blend those two edges down there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing going up towards where Vixen is. All right, so now I've got my blue. And I'm gonna, again, saving time, so I'm just setting these off to the side. All right, so now I'm using Vixen, starting in the middle. I kind of really dig in this purple right now. Same thing, lightly get that glitter out there. If it gets a little heavy handed, don't worry about it. Happy accident. It's just the way that the sun is setting. All right, so then again, gonna kind of work your way up to the um, blue. So this is very good, which is the one above it. So. Just gonna gently, I'm a little high up there, but that's okay. All right, so now we're doing very good. So it's kind of nice and light up at the top for when I do cinnamon. This is why I always have 8,000 sheets of paper. All right, so now we're doing cinnamon for the top. Are you guys like trying to get it so y'all can see as I turn here but in order to get this to fade right I have to kind of hold it different all right so there that is and even if I just left it alone as that that is gorgeous but we're not going for that type of a look are we no Time to rub, rub a dub dub. All right, so we're gonna start here in the middle of the blue and so blue suede shoes and um, toes in the sand. 
really get that line nice and smooth. And that'll help keep it really blended. And if you're like me and you have a very weak <laughs> ombre game for the ultra fines, this helps. All right, so we're gonna get toes in the sand now to lay nice and flat. Alright, so that is toes in the sand now, nice and flat. So now I'm going to dust my hand off on my pants. And now I'm going to do the middle here between blue suede shoes and Vixen. You'll really be able to see the difference too now, starting to see the difference in texture that you get once you start to get the tacket, um, the glitter laid flat using tacket versus when it's just laying on top. And yes, your finger after a few minutes will start to feel a little tingly. That's okay. Just keep going. So now that that's done, we're going to go to the blue. If you start to get these bumps where it's not like laying flat, try rubbing the other direction and it should fall into place. So now the blue is nice and flat. So we're gonna move up now to basically, so again, we're gonna go with the middle line first to blend the colors and then work our way back down. And gonna go ahead and just say now, Vixen and very good definitely blend together perfect.
that's now the purple nice and flat on there. So we're gonna move our way straight all the way up to where Berry Good and Cinnamon are touching. Y'all, a giant cricket just jumped out from underneath one of the shelves and I about jumped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. All right. Ooh, my fingers are getting tired. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the um, cinnamon here, which there's not much left to do, so I'm actually gonna switch. I'm just gonna take that off right now. All right, so there you guys go. Not bad for first time I'm trying to do this many colors with Dacket at once. I think it turned out really nice. So there you go, one sunset Tacket tumbler. And I really like how that turned out. It's got that really nice shine to it and I can't wait to get a layer of epoxy on it. I'm gonna do that next. That's when the color really comes to life. Awesome. I'm going to go get this sucker on the turner right now.